This is Maybe I'm Rambling and now we will speak about a variety of news so friends let's get to it. Woman, ghost hunting, falls through roof of New York train station. I guess the roof was ethereal police say by Jared Leone Cox Media Group National Content Desk. A woman who said she was ghost hunting was injured Saturday night after she fell nearly 20 feet through a roof of a New York train station. Buffalo police said the woman was with a man when she fell through the roof of the Buffalo Central Terminal around 10.30 p.m. WKBW reported. Police said the couple were there without permission. No their permission was in the grave that's all the Buffalo Central Terminal operated from 1929 until it closed in 1979. It was abandoned for many years and currently a group is working to preserve it. The 35-year-old woman, who has not been identified, was taken to a hospital to be treated for her injuries. No charges have been filed at this time. WIVB reported. Solar fart or zit? How about a burp netizens react after NASA shares footage of sun's coronal mass ejection? According to NASA, the particular footage of CME, as seen in extreme ultraviolet rays, were taken by Solar Dynamics Observatory in 2013. The National Aeronautics and Space Administration recently shared spectacular footage of a phenomenon known as coronal mass ejection, CME, prompting a slew of reactions online. That's great and hot. The space agency on June 29 took to their Instagram, sharing a video that showed the sun shooting colossal waves of solar plasma, which it didn't get from the hospital. The ejection happens when a confined solar atmosphere called that which shall not be named suddenly and violently release bubbles of gas and magnetic fields. So was Dracula and Magneto there then a large CME can contain a billion tons of matter that can be accelerated to several million miles per hour in a spectacular explosion. Not as much as an DBZ key explosion I bet. According to NASA, the particular footage of CME as seen in extreme ultraviolet rays, were taken by Solar Dynamics Observatory, SDO, in 2013. CMEs are even said to be powerful enough to temporarily overload electrical systems on Earth if power companies are not prepared. Our review of the solar system? One star. The space agency wrote, sharing the video clip. Many who came across the video were intrigued. Several others also compared the process of CME to a fart and even a solar zit. Take a look at some of the reactions at the description below since being posted. The video has managed to garner over 2 million views on the social media platform. Ha that's nothing new FPS cheating tool uses machine learning. Is impossible to detect creators say the app should be used to fight cheaters with cheats so oh, that's just great more of a reason to stay far away from all FPS the game world's trash bag of genres. A new cheating program, tweeted by at anti-cheat PD, is on the rise that promises to be undetectable by anti-cheating services. By using AI-based machine learning, the cheating app uses frames coming from the GPU to detect human silhouettes within the game. This crap right here is just the beginning of a Skynet-esque combat machine don't believe that's far-fetched for a minute. The makers of this anti-cheating device, VR's Technica, are very confident in the program's undetectability. Because the app doesn't manipulate any game files, which is the typical way cheaters can infiltrate a game. The cheat works by looking at the exact same frames from your GPU that you are while playing the game. Using machine learning, the app can detect human-like silhouettes and automatically fire your weapon at them. Via additional hardware that can manipulate mouse inputs. Doesn't that sound like Terminator training to you? To make the app even harder to detect. The cheat can also be run on a secondary computer with a capture card inputting data coming from your main PC's video card, like a streaming computer. 
The free version of the app is very basic, with simple trigger bot commands that can detect an enemy and auto-fire when that enemy approaches. Your crosshairs, plus some anti-recoil capabilities. However, for just a $50 donation, you can get the paid version of this app that has the full aim bot feature. Man whatever happened to skill is it a myth nowadays just shameful. The creators made the app supposedly to fight against cheaters, currently running rampant in modern FPS shooters. But tools designed to fight bad actors never fall into the wrong hands. Right? Oh it will and gaming will never be the same and this might kill truly kill gaming as a hobby. Genetic tweak could increase yield. Boost drought tolerance in rice. Potato. Study. Adding a gene encoding for a protein called FTO to both rice and potato plants increased their yield by 50% in field tests. A genetic tweak that targets ribonucleic acid. RNA can increase the yield of rice and potato crops significantly and enhance drought tolerance, which could help address food security issue in developing nations, including in India. According to a research, how is India a developing nation? It's been around longer than quite a few countries. Scientists from the University of Chicago Peking University and Guizhou University in a report said that adding a gene encoding for a protein called FTO to both rice and potato plants increased their yield by 50% in field tests. Oh, really GMOS to the rescue getting rid of real food whenever they can causing problems to the human body possibly weakening it but who cares? The change really is dramatic. What's more, it worked with almost every type of plant we tried it with so far. That almost is concerning and it's a very simple modification to make, said University of Chicago. Professor Chuan He, who together with Professor Gifang Jia at Peking University led the research, this really provides the possibility of engineering plants to potentially improve the ecosystem as global warming proceeds. Those are dangerous words my man. This is a brand new type of approach. One that could be different from GMO and CRISPR gene editing. This technique allows us to flip a switch in the plants at an early point in development, which continues to affect the plant's food production even after we remove the switch, he said. It seems that plants already have this layer of regulation and all we did is tap into it. So the next step would be to discover how to do it using the plant's existing genetics. They are turned off for a reason how about improve farming techniques? Like a sane normal person but I guess that's too much to ask the researchers, along with other leading experts, are hopeful about the potential of this breakthrough especially in the face of climate change and other pressures on crop systems worldwide. Added the report. This is a very exciting technology and could potentially help address problems of poverty and food insecurity at a global scale, and could also potentially be useful in responding to climate change, the earth naturally warms up or cools down this is just the time period where it warms up climate change is not the boogeyman. Back to the article said Michael Kramer, who was awarded a Nobel Prize for his work on alleviating global poverty. He is a professor at the University of Chicago. Even beyond food, there are other consequences of climate change, said Professor Chuan He. Perhaps we could engineer grasses in threatened areas that can withstand drought. Or make plants that lower stupidity or a sheep mentality. Perhaps we could teach a tree in the Midwest to grow longer roots. So that it's less likely to be toppled during strong storms there are so many potential applications. Or we will end up in a world similar to prototype remember that believe you don't want to end up in Frankenstein's world well that's it for maybe I'm rambling don't forget to like share and subscribe to this content i touched on a number of things today so think a little so later